we could make some sandwiches. I'm not really hungry. You need to eat. There's still some salad left from last week. All of that. Are you gonna eat? No. I'm not really that hungry either. I guess I'm gonna take Missy out again. Well, stay close. It's getting late. Come on, Miss. Draw the boats if they aren't really there. Imagine them. You like to draw? Sometimes. I can draw my dog. Would you like to try? What's your dog's name? Moose. Moose? He doesn't look like a moose. It's a dessert. It's French. And it's chocolate. Just like him. So you speak French? Yes. My mom's French. Now that's good. Really, it's very good. Can I show you a little trick with the legs? I always have trouble with the legs. Okay, look. Draw a little line like that, and then draw an imaginary line right above it, and then bring the lower legs down. See how it makes it look like he's walking? Like that. Here, you try. That's awesome. You're an awesome artist. You're an artist, too. So, what have you been doing to distract yourself out here? Just escaping, nothing, that's it? That's what I need right now. Well, it's been over a year. I think that's enough time for some signs of life. Washing your hair might be good for a start. I still feel like I'm floating around in space. I'm so guilty about Pippa. She's a solid kid. I am. But you're right, sooner or later you are gonna have to move front and center. Especially once you move back home with all those memories waiting. I can't think about that now. I can't. 
I have group tomorrow. I don't know how much it helps, but... Oh, yeah. Room full of grief-stricken people. Nice. Well, the facilitator seems very skilled. Uh, Blake Thompson. Blake Single? Well, I just thought maybe he could help you move things forward. I think maybe you should go check on William. I think I should go check on the surface. It's okay. Just keep an eye on Pip. I don't want her wandering off. Je t'aime. Hi, is Mark home? So it seems to me as if you're saying you don't have any goals. No, I do have a goal. Um, I want to do something for my daughter, for Pip. I want to be connected with her again. I don't know. It sounds so simple, but... Uh... Maybe. The best way to do something for Pip is to do something for yourself. That's an excellent thought. And if I may, I'd like to make a suggestion. The Wexler Center. They run some terrific assistance programs for the homeless. They could use you, and it would give you some really positive structure later when the summer's over and the time comes to return home. By yourself. How are you and Moose? We're fine. What have you been up to? My godmother came to visit with William, her baby. He's really cute. He doesn't have a father. Oh, that's too bad. Why is that? I'm not sure. Andrea never talks to me about it. But I heard her tell Mom she got him from some kind of weird bank. I see. This is really good, by the way. Are you hungry? No, thank you. My mom doesn't eat. She's really fun. Well, how come? Has she been sick? No, it is sad. It's because my dad's plane crashed. He died. And my brother. They both died. It exploded. Half our family's gone. What do you mean? For a walk with Moosey. And now we're starved. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to go to the store. We'll go out and get something to eat later. Oh? These are very good. It's fun to draw. I know a trick to do Moosey's back legs. Oh, yes, it's very good. How did you learn that? Well, I haven't completely learned it. I can still get better. I'm going to go lie down for a while. That's my house right up there. Wow, it's beautiful. Are you watching my daughter? Just making sure she's safe. She's a lovely girl. You must be very proud. She's lovely? And what exactly does that mean? Are you aware that she is only 11 years old? Ah, uh, yes. She told me, Mrs. McKenzie. You've spoken with her? Mom, this is Matt. Matt Bowles. I told you never to talk to strangers. Never. 
Tu entends, Philippa? Je t'interdis. He's my Go. friend. Go to your room. There are names for this sort of thing. Very ugly names. You stay away from her, or I will call the police. I just saw him drawing. He's a good person. You don't know anything about him. He's a stranger. Pip, did he ever ask you to go to his house? He doesn't want to kill me. He just showed me how to draw Moose's back legs. He's my friend, and you were horrible to him. I want you to stay away from him. I forbid you to leave this house without a grown-up. Go ahead. I'll just lock myself in my room forever, like you. Pip! Pip! I am off to the post office as we speak. Surely his mugshot is posted up there with the top ten most wanted. It's not a joking matter. Who knows what his intentions are? He has no business befriending a little girl. She is a total innocent. Boy, leave it to Pip to get you all worked up. Actually, it sounds quite promising. Well, she put herself at great risk. And she knows better, too. Oh, Fanny. She's lonely. I know. But I don't know what to do about it. Chad's gone. Her father's gone. I'm a basket case. If anything ever happened to her, I... No. No! She absolutely cannot be friends with some strange man that she met on the beach. Oh, my God, he's here. I'll call you back. Bye. Mrs. McKenzie, I am really very sorry, and I regret if I've caused you any distress. Goodbye. Pip? When you're ready to talk, I am too. myself in my room and refused to come out. She was so rude to you. I'm sorry. She's different than she used to be. She worries. Ouch! Sorry, sorry. Almost done. She worries about everything and gets mad about stupid stuff. But other times she doesn't care about anything. It's obvious she cares about you. All right, Miss Pip. I think we better give your mom a call. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just a little bit. OK. Um, so do I owe you uh, an extravagant thank you or an abject apology? No, How about just that cup of coffee? OK. OK. Pip tells me you're French. Hmm? You'd never know by your English. I came here for college, and I married an American, one of my professors, Ted McKenzie, Pip's father. Well, I'm very sorry about your loss, Pip told me. She's such a, a wonderful child, and I, I really want to thank you for reconsidering. Painting is a wonderful catharsis for me, but as you know, it's very solitary, and being able to include Pip makes it seem more purposeful. She has such vitality, such enthusiasm. It's a gift. You miss your daughter very much. Obviously, Pip has given us both a head start. Yes, I miss Vanessa. She's 18 now. My son would have been 16 in April. Birthdays, special occasions, holidays, they can be very difficult. Pip's birthday is in October, just after the plane crashed, so needless to say, 
Anyway, it's especially nice to see her enjoy drawing with you. Well, she's back on her feet again. Maybe you can bring her down for another lesson. Which reminds me, all of my things are still on the beach, so I better get going. Thank you for the coffee. You're welcome. No, he's, he's fine. Hello, Moose. I'm sorry. Well, um, Pip is ever so angry with you. And rightly so. You know, I, I should have come by to visit, and, uh, and I didn't. Um, I just, you know, I didn't want to be a bother. So please, tell her I'm sorry. Why don't you tell her yourself? Come join us for dinner. The food is terrible, but we would both enjoy the company. Well, I'd be, I'd be delighted. Can I bring anything? Pencils, erasers, <laughs> wine? No, 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 just yourself. Seven o'clock. Sounds great. Good. Well, these are very impressive. Thank you. Especially that portrait. Is that your daughter? Yes, it is. She's beautiful. I'm very proud of that. I just had a Christmas card to go by, a family photo at that. Vanessa and her half-siblings. Well, they live in New Zealand now. Uh, my wife, Sally, and I ran an ad agency in the city. New York it was very successful. Uh, the business, marriage, not so much. She fell in love with a business associate of mine. An old friend from Wharton. Some friend? Yeah, Amish. Terrific guy, really. Except he destroyed my family. With a lot of help from Sally. Anyway, it's, I was saying they live in New Zealand now, where he's from, and every year they send me a Christmas card. and has a photo of Vanessa in it. I guess to let me know what she looks like, or to remind me that I'm no longer part of the family. Well, I hate them both just listening to you. And you haven't seen your daughter since the divorce? The first four years, I actually commuted to Auckland. But each trip, I saw less and less of her. You know, she was busy. She was skiing with friends. As they say in your country, I felt like a hare on the soup. <laughs> of course, I, I still write. I just don't actually send letters anymore. Sally's made it quite clear that Vanessa has moved on from me. That's an awful story. Awful. Your ex-wife obviously has done nothing to keep your daughter in your life. You know, it's funny. I've reconciled the divorce. I'm glad to have sold the business. I like it here. I love to paint. But I just can't get over the loss of my child. So every holiday season, I wait for the photo. It's all I've got. Maybe I should have tried harder. What more could you have done? No, 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 no. I admire your commitment. You see, my husband, Ted, he was a genius with incredible vision, but it made it difficult for him to relate to our children, especially my son. Chad was manic depressive, bipolar. Oh, he had great courage and patience and love. But it was hard for him. And twice, he tried to kill himself. Uh, the first time I found him, he had slit his wrists. The second time, Pip found him in his room. He tried to hang himself. 
Ted completely withdrew from him after that. You know, he couldn't accept the fact that his son was less than perfect. Chad knew. He hurt him. So I tried to keep Ted involved in Chad's life. I took every opportunity. Even when there's a divorce, you're still partners in parenting your children. I think it's deplorable that your ex-wife has ignored that. <clears throat> Matt! Your mom was nice enough to invite me over for dinner. How's the foot? Really dumb. It's a stupid foot. I miss drawing with you. But I forgot how to do the back legs. No problem. It's for you. Thank you. Let's see here. I wish we didn't have to go back to the city. I wish we could just live here. Yeah, but you might end up missing all your friends. Maybe even school. I'm the weird kid now. Why is that? Well, some of my friends' parents are divorced, but none of them have lost a father. Everybody's gonna feel so sorry for me. Treat me so nice. Let a boy move before the father-daughter dinner because I have nobody to take. Well, if it's okay with your mom, hey, and you, you can take me, I'd go with you, if you want. That's very nice of you, Matt. For real? You do it? I'll even put on a suit. We are very lucky to have each other, because really, it's just Pip and me. We have some distant cousins in France, but... Well, what about friends? San Francisco, I mean. Ted wasn't very sociable. He was so engrossed in his work, and Chad became so all-consuming the last few years. It was hard to keep friendships. I suppose when Pip goes back to school, I'll be spending a lot of time with Moose. Well, he's a good dog, but a conversation might get a little dull, don't you think? <laughs> Blake, my group leader, thinks that I should do volunteer work. I think that's a good idea. But what you should do is get Pip to set you up with some drawing lessons. It's a wonderful distraction. And sometimes you get to meet some really interesting people. Mom? I thought you'd need a good breakfast your first day back on the beach. Are you coming? No, you and Matt have plenty to catch up on. Do you like him, Mom? Yes, I do. I mean, like a guy? Your father was the only guy for me. Eat. So you're finally out. How's the foot? It's OK. We're just glad to be outside again. And I'm very glad to see you. But we got to hurry, because we have plans. Sit down and take it easy, plans. I'm going to sketch you. You want to sketch me? When's your mom's birthday? December 10th. Maybe she'd like a portrait of you as a present, you think? Cool. All right. We've got to hurry, though. We've only got two weeks left before school starts. Don't remind me. You're not still worried about school, are you? What then? The robot. After Daddy and Chad died, it was like somebody took Mom away and left a robot instead. Let's see. All right. Well, his ex sounds like a real number. Unless, of course, you ruined him for everyone else. We may have to keep looking. Oh, you're worse than Peep. 
You two been conspiring because ganging up on me is not going to change anything. I don't want another man in my life. I had Ted. Who wasn't exactly a saint. You have to admit, you had your problems with Ted and you know it. That happened one time. It was a mistake, and I forgave him. He was difficult, especially with Chad. I mean, that man never cared for anybody except for himself. And you know that you were the only woman that could have put up with him for as long as you did. I loved him for 20 years. That's not going to change now or ever. And he loved you too, in his own selfish, narcissistic way. <laughs> The point is you can't cling to that forever. At some point, you're going to have to let go. Besides, you're too much of a hottie to stay single. <laughs> you know, it's going to be awfully quiet around here without you and Pip. I was just thinking how much better I feel than when I first got here. It's done us both good. Pip seems happier too, thanks to you. You've made her summer. She's made mine too. So have you. We all need friends. Sometimes I forget that. Well, you lead a solitary life out here, Matt. I hope you come visit us often. In spite of my cooking. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're really adventurous, how about <laughs> if I make us do? <laughs> Josh! Josh, are you okay? Josh! What? What is it? I'd like to propose a toast. A toast? To Jolly Moosey's back legs. And watching where you run on the beach. And frozen pizza. Mm. And to friendship. To friendship. Why don't you like him? I do. What are you talking about? I mean, like. Like, like. I mean, like a boyfriend. Well, that's an awful lot of likes, and I'm already a married woman. No, you're not. You're a uh, widow. Ah, ah, ah. Yep. You are. You're a widow. And you're outrageous. <laughs> Bip, he is our friend. We don't want to spoil that. Why would it spoil it? Well, because if we got involved, then someone would get hurt or upset, and then it would be all over. Does somebody always have to get hurt? No, but almost always. And then you don't like each other anymore and you can't be friends. And you couldn't see him. I think how sad that would be. Well, what if you got married? None of that would happen. I don't want to get married again. And neither does he. Did he tell you that? More or less. He told me all about his marriage and his divorce. It sounded fairly traumatic. Yeah, but he really likes you. Pip, please stop. I am already married to your father. It's not very good company. Philippa! Sorry. I just never thought I'd have that much fun this summer. I know. It was more than I could have imagined. Yeah. And maybe next summer you and Matt will fall in love and get married on the beach. <laughs> you are a little monster. Oh.
I hate it here. So do I. But it's our home. I hope, I hope I like my teachers. Oh, you will. Well, some of them at least. Can I call Matt when I get home? In a while. We don't want to pester him. When can we call him? <laughs> Soon. <sighs> okay. You have a good day. Chicken. Go. Blake, we missed your group today. Hope everything's okay. Give me a call. Mom! Mom? Mom, eat. I'm not hungry after all. The man from her group called. I guess you didn't go today? I didn't feel up to it. I'm going to go lie down for a while. Please don't go in there, Mom. It'll just make you sad. Mom, don't. Please. Miss Pip? I was wondering when you'd call. I need your help. The robot's back. Oh, Pip, why 
Why couldn't you tell him we are busy? Are you, I, I'm in no shape for company. Well, too late. Matt! Hi, kiddo. Right, okay. Oh my gosh, I love them. I got them a little store right down the beach just before you left. I thought they'd come in handy. It's my formula for getting rid of the blues. Eat something fun, wear something silly, play loud music. Well, if you ask me, you're a genius. Speaking of loud music, this is a little loud, isn't it? I'm going to turn it down. What? <laughs> How's the poacher going? I love this house. Now it's so empty. I, th I thought about selling, but I didn't want to make any hasty decisions. Well, I think you're smart not to make any changes too soon. <laughs> I can't seem to make any changes at all. Ted's clothes are still in the closet. Chad's room is exactly as it always was. Andrea says it's unhealthy. Well, give it time. I'm just so afraid of falling into that dark hole. For Pip's sake, if it wasn't for her, it would be so much easier just to not go on. It would have been such a blessing to have been on that plane with him. No, 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 don't. Please don't say that. You don't understand. Nobody does. How could you? I sent Chad on that airplane with his father. I needed a break, um, some quiet time with Pip, without worrying about Chad. He, he needed so much attention. Oh, and I, I told Ted they needed some father sometime. But I know that I sent Chad with him to give myself a breather. No matter how long I live or how many groups I go to, I will never forgive myself. <laughs> Ophelie, you had no one here to help you. You had all the responsibility on your shoulders. No, don't. I would give anything to have him back. To think that I didn't treasure every moment with him. I'm a horrible mother. Horrible. I don't deserve to. I'm sorry you don't need to hear all this. You remember the boy on the beach? When I pulled him up and out of the surf, I was, was exhausted. There was nothing more that I could do for him. And if you hadn't been there, and then I saw the way that you looked at his mother, and I know the thought that was in your mind. And for you, of all people, well, that had to be tough. But you pushed your emotions aside and you did what you had to do. You saved that woman's son. You did it. You saved him. Because you had the skills, you took the time to learn them. Because responding to people 
that are in need is a big part of who you are. Maybe that's a part of you that can now help you. Maybe you should take Blake's suggestion. Go to the Wexler Center, pitch in, help out. If you can get that part of you breathing again, if you can do that, then you don't need to go back to that dark hole. Right over here. You're the new volunteer? Wow, I'm Jeff. What's your name? Ophelie. But... Oh, Ophe whoa, that, that's too hard. Opie, that's your name now. Let's kick it, Opie. We got a lot more stuff to load. Bob and Millie, they're around here somewhere. They're ex-cops. Me, I'm nine years Navy SEAL. So together, we got your back. Here you go. Thank you. We do more in one shift than this place does in a whole week. Come on. We're gonna take a spin around the grid. Thank you. There uh -huh. you go. You can drive. But, but nothing. You guy drives. Hey, 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 Jefferson, what are you doing with my 10 o'clock interview, huh? Opie. <laughs> no, she's with us. No, 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 no. Don't mind Jefferson. He's our resident tornado. <laughs> I'm Louise Anderson, director at the Wexler Center. Oh, come on. I call them my top guns, because five nights a week they are on the streets looking for people who are too sick to come to us. They give out food, blankets, medical supplies, clothing. Oh, that sounds fairly dangerous. There have been a few close calls. Are they armed? <laughs> Only with their heads in their hearts. I mean, you have to want to be out there. But you wouldn't have to worry about that because there's plenty you can do for us in the office, if you're still interested. I'm not sure what I would be good at. I mean, I have two children. I was married for 18 years. I, I can drive, shop, uh, clean, do laundry. A and I do have some experience dealing with family members who have mental illness. Now, that could be useful to us. Um, are you going through a divorce at the moment? I noticed that you said was married. No. My husband died a year ago. Oh. And my son. I'm a widow. I will never take a hot bath for granted again. I can't believe people really sleep on the street. Oh, I know. You know, you hear about it, and you know it's out there, but seeing it, it's so shocking. But it's nice to help them. Yes, yes, it is. But also, it is uh, upsetting. But somebody has to help them. And staying in the house all day, that's upsetting, too. Yes, I know, Pip. I know I have to go back. Don't worry, we are going to take good care of you, and I will see you soon. You stay safe. Oh. I've been hearing good things about you. Thank you. 
It has been an amazing week. Think so? <laughs> you ain't seen nothing till you've been out with Bob Millie and me. Or is that just a little bit too real for you? Oh, I'd probably be too scared to get out of the van. Not for about five minutes. Look, what are you doing tonight? You got a date? No, I don't date, but I have a daughter. She's 11 years old, and I promised to take her to a movie. Well, no, just take her tomorrow. Look, I want you to come out with us. Millie and me, we were talking about this last night. You should see it at least once. You will never be the same. Yeah, especially if I get hurt or killed. I, I'm all my daughter has in the world. Look, we will keep an eye on you. I, I, I don't have anyone to stay with her. At, at 11? I was staying here, all five of my brothers. I was hauling my mama's ass out of jail every week. Come on, Opie. Once you have been out with us, you will never want to sit home again. Besides, we're a man down. We leave at 6.30. Be here. You should see her, Matt. She's almost like she used to be. Is she there? Can I say hi? Yeah. Matt wants to talk to you. He thinks you're really cool for volunteering. Bonjour. Hey, sounds like you're setting the world on fire out there. What's it like? Scary, exciting, wonderful, touching, sad. Oh, Matt, I love it. And you gave me the push that I needed. Well, you're an amazing woman. I'm impressed. Oh, don't be. Mostly I just shuffle papers and look lost. Hey, listen, I was thinking of maybe coming up there this Saturday, if that's OK. Or, uh, if you'd rather, you come down here. Ted and Chad's anniversary is the day before. I think it's going to be tough on us. I'd hate to come out there and be gloomy and depressed. Well, listen, let's just play it by ear. How's that? OK. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Welcome to Hello. the real world. Thank you. Opie. Hello. You made it down, huh? You sure you want to do this? I mean, it isn't required, you know. I mean, no one's going to think you're a sissy if you back out now. <laughs> Jeff will think I'm a sissy. Yeah, maybe. But so what? Look, it's your call. You in or you out? In. All right, let's go. Stay behind me here and be careful. I don't like the mission. If anything's gonna happen, it's gonna happen here. You mean something like someone shooting at us? No, dirty needles are the weapon of choice. They're so young to be out here by themselves. Oh, these kids have been on the streets for years. Parents don't care about them. They just wander around until they grow up. If they do. And then what? Drugs, prostitution, whatever it takes. No. If I were on the street, I'd probably be on drugs, too. I know, it breaks my heart sometimes, too. You all right, Opie? Come on, let's get back to the van. doing God's work out here. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Thanks for coming. Yeah, you did a great job. Thanks. We'll see you Monday. You want me to come back? We want you part of our team. Opie, we're not playing games out here. I need to give it some thought. I, I couldn't come every night, maybe twice a week. I might Daughter. If, if you were dating, you would spend more time out than that. And you said you're not. Come on. Why don't you tell the lady how you really feel? Yeah, no pressure or anything. All right. I need to think about it. Do you need to, really? I think you know what you want. Come on, Opie. I saw it. We need you. They, they need you. Okay, but only twice a week. 
on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right, that's it. <laughs> you are a tough man to resist. Welcome to the team, Opie. I'm one of the cowboys now. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Each day, I love him. I love him. He's a very good friend. I'm afraid I won't be very good company. I can't speak for Pip, though. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Why don't I talk to her and call you back? I want to go. I want to. Do you hear that? Tomorrow, then. Lucy, we gotta go see Matt! Sounds like an amazing place. What exactly do you do there, Ophelie? She works on the street with the outreach team. I thought you said you were shuffling papers. I guess I got a promotion. <sighs> so, roaming through dark alleys in the middle of the night looking for desperate people, and that's, that's a promotion. It's not as bad as it sounds. Well, this is something that we'll have to talk about later. After we've had a good meal. Ophelie, oh, 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 oh. oh, it's crazy. You can't do it. Matt, I have never felt so unafraid in all my life. When I'm out there, Everything else doesn't feel so menacing, like the empty house. If I can confront the dangers on the street and survive that, the rest is so much easier. If you're looking for my approval, don't, because you can't have it. If you're trying to scare the wits out of me, you have. <laughs> for your sake, and Pip's, and mine, Ophelia. I know that it could be dangerous, but so could a lot of things that we take for granted every day. <laughs> I could get hit by a bus crossing the street tomorrow yeah. or die it's of a heart attack. It's not the same thing, and you know it. It's kind of a death wish. Well, if something happens to me, you'll just have to marry Andrian and two of you can raise Pip together. Uh huh. You know, I don't think that's amusing. <laughs> I really don't. And I think you should go back to your shrink or to your group or whatever. Why? I've already gotten the best advice of all from a very good friend. He saw how I was struggling with grief and guilt, and he gave me the encouragement that I needed to find that useful place in myself again. Well, I'm sure your friend never imagined you rubbing shoulders with addicts and drug dealers and dark alleys at midnight. But either. that's where the greatest need is. No, Ophelie, the greatest need for you is right there. Trust your friend one more time. Give you good advice. I know. And I promise, if I ever feel this too dangerous, I stop. No, no, no. And this is not the last word on the subject, either. There you go.
Hi. It's been three weeks. It's like forever. You've grown. You've grown this much. <laughs> You're beautiful. This is for you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, what do you think? Very handsome. Really? Mm -hmm. Mom, look what Matt gave me. <sighs> Gee, he's so excited to go to the dance. Mom. Well, you are. And you are very generous to take her. What, are you kidding me? Good food, good company, a little dancing. <laughs> Parfait. Merci. So, what's happening? When? I'm working very hard with the outreach team. Um, Pip is Okay, loving. that's not what I mean, and you know it. What's happening with Matt? Well, I can tell you that he's not thrilled I'm working with the outreach team. Hey, but didn't he encourage you? Hmm? Yes and no. Yes, to get involved. No, not to lay your life on the line. Exactly. Well, he's right. And that leads us to a problem. Are you going to let this guy just slip away from you? He's come out of his shell. He comes up to the city more often than ever. He takes you guys out to eat. He's at a school dance right now for crying out loud. Somebody is gonna spot him and eat your lunch. Matt has been uh, very helpful to us and, and if we've helped him in any way, that's... I know. Let me ask you something. If it had been you that died instead, do you think that Ted would be carrying a torch for you for the rest of his life? What? What is it? You just have to understand. You don't owe Ted your happiness. You don't have to live a lonely life. I, I promise I will not bring this up again. If you can tell me that you've honestly never imagined Matt as your lover. <laughs> I'm afraid that my imagination was in a plane crash. Your daughter is a terrific dancer. She wore me out. Uh, she gets that for me? I used to love to dance. No more? Well, it's been years. Ted didn't enjoy it. You know, Ted doesn't sound like an altogether easy person. Geniuses are like that. I mean, I don't know personally, I just heard that. I always loved him from the moment I met him. But Andrea thinks that I deserved better and she intends to save me from myself. As usual, she was trying to push me into bed tonight. With? Oh, with uh, <laughs> the waiter, the busboy, Blake Thompson, you, you. Okay. Andrea and I have been best friends for 20 years, but we couldn't be more different on that front. Her current lover is 10 years younger than she is, he's married, and his wife is expecting. Sounds a lot like Sally. She was very uh, sensual. No, that's not the right word. Uh, sexual, right up until the end. Maybe that's why I didn't see it coming when she left me for Hamish. Anyway, tell Pip I had a wonderful time. Good night. Good night. Um, oh, I, I, I almost forgot. Well, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? No, well, same as always, trying to ignore it. I don't believe in turkeys or Santa anymore. You know, bah humbug. <laughs> well, why don't you try and change that? Andrea and Pip are going to be here. Why don't you join us? Well, that's sweet. It really is. It's just more manly to cry alone. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Dad, 
Vanessa. Oh my God. Nessie, I... What are you doing here? I go to Stanford. I've been looking for you for months, but um, I lost your address and mom said she didn't have it. She said what? When you stopped writing, mom lost track of you. Nessie, your mom sends me a Christmas card every year. She knows where I am. Your mom said that uh, you didn't want me in your life. I've been writing to you three years by then. And eventually, she asked if Hamish could adopt you, and I said no. You're my daughter, and you always will be, but after three years of silence, I finally gave up. It's been three years since then, but your mother and I always stayed in touch. She said that you were happier without me in your life and that you wanted it that way. She never gave me any of your letters. I never understood why you abandoned me, and I was so afraid you wouldn't want to see me now. No, 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 no. God, I'm so mad at her. I'm so mad. I'll never forgive her. You know she's coming back? Hamish died of a heart attack. God. When? Three months ago. She's coming back to look for a place over Christmas. I don't think I can bear to see her. Can I spend Christmas with you? Of course you can. Of course you can. But I... I don't think you should avoid your mother. No, I'm far from it. Mom's definitely gonna hear from me. I missed you. I missed you too. I haven't told you about my very good friend Pip and her mother, Ophelie. There you go. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I uh, spent the summer here in Safe Harbor. She's a widow. Ophelie, that's a pretty name. Is she your girlfriend? No, no, we're just friends. They've had a really tough time. They're very important to me. And I'd love for you to meet them. Cool. I'm a pretty flat out with finals coming up, but uh, Christmas? Yeah? You still ski? Brilliantly. <laughs> well, I want to see. I was thinking uh, about Squaw Valley, all of us. You know, give us a chance to get away, catch up. Be good for you and I, and for Pip and Ophelie, too. I'm there, Dad. Okay, wait, wait. It's from both of us, right, Matt? We've been scheming a long time on this. Since that summer, when I met you. Don't forget he was my friend first. <laughs> Can I, Sherry, when you delight in reminding me? I'm in tweet. Come on, open it. Open it. Come on. Matt, how did, how did you, oh my God. I'm a kleptomaniac. <laughs> I wondered where that went. Do you like it? Oh, like it? No, I love it. Good. Thank you so much. It's the most beautiful present I've ever had. Really hope that you'll meet Nessa and I in Squaw Valley for Christmas. How won't she object to having strangers come after not seeing you for so long? No, she knows all about you and Pip. She can't wait to meet you. I told her that you're like family. You're always so good to us. It's easy to be good to you.
What are we doing? This is crazy. No, it's not crazy. I felt this way for a long time. Longer than I knew. I was just afraid I'd frighten you off if I said something. You've been hurt so badly. We both have. Wait up! Teens, remember? Well, I'm sorry. Do not get too comfortable out here. That's why we make mistakes. Give me the blankets. Back to the van. All right. Matt, it's 4 30 in the morning. Yeah, that's the point. I just can't deal with the thought of something happening to you. Here, it's cold. Put this on. You okay? Yes, I think so. You think so? Should I panic? No, no, I'm, I'm just uh, scared a little, that's all. Of what? Uh, of, of you, of me, of life, fate, good things, bad things, you dying, me dying. I... Do I have to go on? Give me a chance to, to try and change that. I don't know that you can. At least give us a chance. Hello? Hey, Matt. It's Sally. Would you hate very much having dinner with me tonight? I don't want anything from you. I just want to bury the hatchet. It sounds like she has an agenda, getting back together. No, no, no. She's, she's bored. She doesn't know what to do with herself. I know her. Matt, I know how some women can operate. Hey, she left me, remember, for another guy with more money and more toys and... Yes, but now she has the money and he's gone and... and she's scared and lonely and... I think she has something up her sleeve. If you want me to cancel, I will be happy to cancel. Yes, I do. But... it can't be that easy. Sure it can. Now with her. I'm not going. I don't want to go. I don't want to see her. No, if, if you don't see her face to face, you're going to see her in your mind's eye. I want you to go. It's important for you. It's important for us. But I thought the two of you were just friends. Why do you care if he sees his ex-wife? Don't be horrible. You know I'm far too attached to Matt now. 
Oh, God. What if he falls in love with her again? Oh, after the way she screwed him over? Yeah. Yes, but he told me that she was very sexual. Really? You were hot, huh? To the bitter end. She is going to try and seduce him. I know it. Well, you only have yourself to blame, little Miss Grieving Widow. And uh, when you see him, lose the jacket. Good to see you. Boy, you don't look a day older. Well, uh, I feel it. Thanks. Neither do you. Got your favorite drink? No. Uh, no, no. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, why have you never remarried? You cured me. I'm a recluse. Please sit down. So have you ever thought about going back to New York? Uh, never. How about Paris then? London? Maybe. I know it's crazy, but I was wondering if... If I'd go with you. If we could turn the clock back, fall in love all over again. Man, that'd be something, wouldn't it? That's all I've wanted for the last six years. That's all I've thought about. You know, the funny thing is, now that I think about it, I just can't do it. You are beautiful. My God, look at you. You're just as beautiful as you always were. And a couple of those martinis and we'd fall back in that bed in there and I'd figured I'd died and gone to heaven. But then what? Well, then we'd see what happens. Sally, you'd still be you and I'd still be me and all the things that made it fall apart the first time would still be there. Matt, don't say that stuff. What's wrong? I want to be with someone who loves me. And I'm not sure you ever did. I love is a gift. I want to give it and receive it. Oh, you always were such a romantic. And you weren't. What about an affair, then? Oh, that would be foolish and complicated, don't you think? So now what? Now we do what you said we do. We declare each other friends. We. Wish each other good luck, and we say goodbye. What about you, Matt? You gonna rot at the beach forever? Sometimes a quiet life can be a good thing. Is there someone else? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Some part of me will always love you, Sally. Just not enough to try again. Good luck. My mind is officially empty of everyone but you. See you on the slopes. I love them so much. Thank you. Not as much as I like my slippers. <laughs> okay if I take Pip out for a test run? It's a great idea. Sure. Just bundle up. All right, you two. Be careful. Have fun. Take your time. <laughs> Hi.
I cheated you. I feel like I rushed you. What if I'm never ready? I'll find someone else. <laughs> I mean, we can still be good friends, but <laughs> I'll love you anyway. I wonder. I need to take a step closer to you. I know it doesn't sound like much, but... I think it's time I packed up Ted's things. Really? Are you ready? Yes. I'll help. <laughs> My darling Ted, I know this has come as a shock to us both, and I know that this is not what you had planned, nor I, but, oh, this baby means everything to me, more than anything in the world, because it's yours. We have so much in common, and I know how hard these last few years have been at home for you. Nobody knows better than I. She's mishandled things for you and for Chad. But more importantly, between the two of you, I'm not even convinced that he would have attempted suicide if she hadn't alienated him from you. They were bids for your attention, maybe even asking you to save him from her. Your life with her is over. It's been over for years. And maybe in the long run, this is what she needs to jolt her into realizing how pointless her life is, how empty. But it's for us, I firmly believe that this is just the beginning. Our baby is our bond to each other, our link to the future. I love you with all my heart. And I promise you, when you come to me, you will be happy as you have never been. The future is ours, darling, with all my love. Andrea. <gasps> Oh, hey, come in. Hi. You okay? Oh God, did something happen? Yes. Something happened. <sighs> how could you do that and pretend to be my friend? And how dare you? Say the things you said about Chad to manipulate his father. You are beyond pathetic. You are evil. You have taken away the one thing I had left. 
the belief that Ted loved me. Just How could you do this? No, you stay away from me and you stay away from Pip. Don't you call us or try to contact us ever again. You are dead to me, as dead Just as he listen is. listen to me, please. Ted hadn't made up his mind. Oh, really? He did not die, having decided to leave you. I, I wrote to him. I tried to convince him. I hate you. I know you can't ever forgive me, but please, please don't blame William. Ophelia, look at me. It was not his fault. I don't give a damn about you. Or your baby. Don't you ever speak to me again. Mom, Matt wants to talk to you. He says if you don't talk to him, he's coming over. Everything is going to be okay. I just need to get out for a while. There's a letter from Matt on my dresser. Are you mad at him? No, no. A and I want him to stay with you. But that letter is for Matt's eyes only. Understand? What's up? It's not your night. I know. I feel good out here. I'm totally together, Jeff. Let's kick it. This is about something else. It won't help us find her. She didn't say anything else at all. She just left. She was so upset. Can we go look for her? I'm gonna try herself. When my husband and my son died, it was like I slipped into a, a dark hole. But I don't feel that way anymore. Bob, I don't feel so alone in the world. So, I'm going to start working days with Louise. Huh. That's too bad, because we'll miss you. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bobby! Now he wants another coat. All right, I'll get it. Jeff, hey, do you Opie. want a sleeping bag Opie. or a blanket or... Opie! Hey! Hey! Hey, man! Hey, don't do this, man! Let her go. What are you, a pimp? No, 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 no. You're a cop. No, 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 stop! Hey, hey, cop. look, we don't give a damn what you're doing and we are not cops. You're a cop. No. But we used to be and I'll kick your ass if you don't let her go. You look like cops. Let her go! So does this one. Go! 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 Ah! Oh, damn! Don't you move! Mom? What is it? Hello? Yes? Yes. How is she? They're, they're taking out the bullets now. Oh, God. Stay here. Excuse me. I'm here for Ophelia McKenzie. Bolus 500 cc's and then increase the dopamine drip. She's alive, but we don't know what's going to happen yet. The first bullet. Went through her lung, came out of her back. 
The second bullet exited the back of her neck, but missed her spine. All things considered, she's very lucky. The third bullet took out an ovary in her appendix, did some damage to the stomach and small bowel. Is she going to die? She's very badly injured, but she survived the trauma and the surgery. She's very strong. Damn right. Thank you, doctor. How is she? She talked to us. What'd she say? That she loves me. What do you say we go back, get a shower, change our clothes, freshen up a little bit? I'm afraid something will happen. No, no, we won't be gone that long, really. We're just getting cleaned up and coming right back. Sure thing. And you're gonna stay with me, right, Matt? Sure thing? You know I will. I'm not going anywhere, I'll be right here, okay? wife has been asking to see you. Will you be okay by yourself for a minute? I'll stay with her. Thanks. I... I quit the outreach team. Critical but stable, no sign of infection, and uh, if she makes it through tonight, we can all breathe easier. Thank you. See, this looks better than Frozen. Maybe. Do you love my mom? 
Yes, I do. Will you marry her when she gets better? She needs you, Matt. Might or two. I want to, Pip. Maybe we should ask her first. Will you? I think we should wait till she feels better. Might help her get better if she has something to look forward to. She loves you, Matt. I can tell. You can? Yeah. She's probably just scared. My dad wasn't always nice to her. Maybe if you tell her you'd be nice to her, she'd say yes. You ask her, Matt. I will, Pitt. I promise. She's okay. She's okay. She just wants to see both of you again. She's okay. Come on. Hey. I'm so scared. I'll never get shot again. <laughs> I'm doing my best. She's her mother's daughter. Caught the guy, Mom. Oh, that's good. Jeff tells me that every one at the outreach center is going to be armed from now on. And no more volunteers. If I can tear Pip away, we're going to let you get some sleep, okay? Okay. Bye, Mom. About the thing you were going to ask mom? Don't you think I should wait till she feels a little better? She might be more receptive. She's on drugs. You can take advantage of that. So now she has to be on drugs to marry me? It can't hurt. You're the biggest chicken ever. I am not chicken. I am a little chicken. And you promised. Okay. Now? Right now? Go! Okay. Hmm. That was fast. I forgot to tell you something. I love you, Ophelia. I love you too. Enough to marry me. Um, did you say what I think you just said, or is that the drugs? Could be both. How did it sound? It sounds good. I love you very much. I'm sorry. She really does need a rest. Almost done. Chicken out? Nope. Well, then what'd she say? She said yes.
Do you think Ophelia will see me? I'm sure she will. Please, come in. I'm so sorry. I would not have come here, but... I need your help. I heard that you got shot, and... I would have at least written, but I was in the hospital, too. I have cancer. Just ignored all the signs, you know, just... Apparently it started in my ovaries and then spread to my lungs and... Now it's in my bones. Done chemo, now we're doing radiation and, um... I'm really just kind of past that now. I don't really have long. I think it's God's punishment for what I did to you. And I know that I'm sorry doesn't even begin to cover. But you've always been so forgiving. That's why people like Ted and I needed you so much. And I'm really counting on that now, because I need you. I don't have anyone to take William. Ophelia, will you take him for me? Will you take him? He's so innocent. Take William now? When I die? We will take you. Thank you. You have no idea what that means to me. Oh. God bless you. Take this man for the rest of your life. I do. I do. 